How did you come about being labeled a style maker by Oprah and how did that impact your life and career? Um, you know, in those, what was she on the air, 25 seasons? Mm -hmm. um, I had maybe with one, two, three appearances over those years. Uh, and that first appearance was the hardest. That's when she had that yellow sofa that Tom Cruise jumped up and down on. Yes. Um, and every author, any author, wanted to be on the show with your book, but it was like literally Fort Knox. Mm. Uh, when I finally got the call, uh, I will say that it was almost hard. I, it was almost hard for me to speak on that stage. It was such the holy grail. Uh, and then after that first appearance, I kept being invited back for different shows and ultimately got my own hour with her talking style. And I think that was the episode where she calls me the style maker. Um, which was a blessing because I think she really realized that I had put in those 10,000 hours, as M Malcolm Gladwell calls them, um, to really know that style is uh, something that you study, you know, if you love it, you know, whether it's a fashion journalist, fashion designer, uh, there's so many functions in that industry, but I had done the work to really understand the bones of the industry. and. From there, I got my own show on the Fine Living Network and HGTV. Uh, bigger shows started calling, got another book deal after that. So that Oprah effect is real. <laughs> and uh, um, I had a development deal with the OWN Network, which kind of went a little sideways because they, if you see now what it is now versus what it was then, yes. um, I was really more a part of the old, of the old OWN Network. Um, I'm not a housewife, house husband kind of person. Like I'm more of a fashion teacher. But when I say that she put her arms around me in a way that changed my career and life, uh, it, it was a real blessing and it, it still remains so.